We are under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's Interleague Baseball next on MLB Network. Walker Bueller, a Kentucky-born right-hander, gets the starting nod. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin. He'll get us started in this One under the lights. The right fielder, number 18. First pitch coming. Brian Here it is. Good one. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. First pitch, 7 o'clock. The wind up and the 0 1. High in the air into shallow left center. Seeger ranging into the outfield. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Batting second. The center fielder, number 27, Mike Trout. And now for the Angels, Mike Trout. His prior history in this matchup, he's a 333 hitter. Here comes the first pitch. Lays off 1 and 0. Good night for baseball. 69 degrees here at first pitch. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Two balls, no play. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Working the plate is Carl Dixon. Hey, d -Row, one of the things you have to be aware of as a hitter from Carl Dixon, he'll call that high strike. Yeah, he will. So you better be on top of your game with two strikes because if they elevate, good chance Carl Three Dixon's balls. punching okay. your ticket. 3 and 0 to him now. Now here's the pitch. And he lays oh, off here, ball. ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. And that's the beauty of having a guy in the two-hole like him. He's almost like another leadoff hitter, working a walk with just one out. And I think there's a good chance that he's going to be on the move at some point. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. As a look, now the pitch. Hit back toward the mound. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow! That is good. The first base is number five. Albert Pujols. Ready now for L.A. Albert Pujols. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. First delivery to him on the way. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Bellinger is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So they get a man to second here in the top half, but he's stranded there. It's the Angels nothing, Dodgers coming to bat. This is the Freeway Series and it's on MLB Network. Shohei Otani, the right-hander from Japan, will get the starting assignment in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Well, with a guy like him, you're just looking for quality innings. Usually he'll give you six or seven, and he keeps the team in the ballgame. And when you think about it, what else do you really want from your starter? He's capable of shutting a team down and dominating, but that's not what's expected of him all the time. Go? Settling in now, Mookie Betts. He'll the lead right things field. off here in the bottom half Mookie. of the first. Yeah. 
Now here's the pitch. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Now here's the pitch. One and two now. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout and there's one gone. I like how he worked him backwards for that strikeout there. He wasn't that showing the done. fastball early the in the at bat, way. but then went back Man. to back once he had the hitter down in the count. Next up is Max Muncy. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. But that finds its way through for a base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. That's pure pitch recognition right there. He's able to get the front foot down, backdoor breaking ball, and drive it the other way. That's the kind of thing that fires me up. So now to the plate, Justin Turner. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Muncie leads off second with one gone in the inning. That's inside. 2 0. Oh. That's a pretty tough spot for him to deal with in the first inning. Runner in scoring position already, and now he's got the three-hitter salivating in a good hitter's count. Hey. Two balls and a strike. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Here's a fly ball well hit. Upton on the move. He makes the catch and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And he'll make it into third base as on the F7 he gets in there with two away. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. Runner in scoring position with two gone. First pitch coming. Here it is. Good bike to the slider, and he takes strike one. Hey, I don't know if he wasn't looking for it or just got fooled a little bit right there, but that was actually a decent slider to do some damage with. One and one. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. Two outs here with a runner at third. Outside, two and one. The set and the two and one. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. Three and one, here it is. Swing and a line drive. But this will land foul as he didn't miss by much. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And this one is gone, a home run.
Cody Bellinger puts a pair on the board with that homer. And the Dodgers move in front now, two to nothing. start this one off. Scroll is top of the frame and you answer with a bomb at the bottom of the first. That is good. No so next to bat will be the left-handed no. hitting Jock Peterson. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Count is even at one and one to Peterson. Hey, I love that pitch right there. Better execution after just giving up an extra base hit. The one one. Swing and a miss as he chases one out of the zone for the third strike, and that's the third out of the inning. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Justin Upton the next to hit as it'll be five six and seven due up to kick off the second inning. Hey we're still in the early stages in this one they're only down by a couple of runs but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First delivery to him on the way. Ball one. Okay. A 2 0 count to the Angels' left fielder. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3 0. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Fly ball out to straightaway right. There to look it in his bets, and that's out number one. That is good. The second baseman, David Fletcher. Into the box now, David Fletcher. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And now a pitch on the way. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. home is taken strike one to two and two now and now pitch on the way Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. In now is Andrelton Simmons. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. 
Well, even though these two teams are in different leagues, they do play each other every year because of the crosstown rivalry, and it's always pretty fun. Yeah, and for the players, Matt, they love it. Not only is there more on the line than usual, like bragging rights, but they're not having to stay at hotels and all that. It's just like a normal home game where they're driving to a different ballpark. Pitch is popped up. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to put this one away. Good reactions there, and the inning is over. Angels go down one, two, three. They trail it here, two to nothing. Next for the Dodgers, Corey Seager. He'll get us going here in the bottom half of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Here comes the first pitch. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Nope, and a fastball here that's taken for ball two. Yeah, he just isn't that sharp on the mound right now. Had a rough start in the first inning, and now he's falling behind out of the gate here in the second. Some adjustments need to be made and fast. Two balls and a strike now. The 2 1. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up. Throw on to first. In time, one away. At the plate, Will Smith, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now here it comes. Hot shot down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Oh, but the feed to the shortstop is off the mark. Well, he was definitely not looking off speed on that pitch. I'll tell you, he had to be sitting on a fastball on that one because it's coming in hot, and he still manages to get out front of that and yank it for two bases. At the plate, Gavin Lux, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Here's the 0 1 pitch, and he lays off for ball one. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that feel because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. One out and a runner on second base. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Set and the two and one pitch hit to first fielded cleanly by Pujols and he'll take this one to the bag for the out but meanwhile the runner will move up 90 feet to third base batting nine, the pitcher Walker Bueller next to hit will be the pitcher Walker Bueller He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Mm, two and oh. Can't fall behind against the pitcher. Need to minimize pitch count against the easy outs, and this is certainly one of them. Now 
Now the 2-0 home. Too high. And it's 3-0. It's amazing how guys can lose focus sometimes when the weaker hitters come up, especially the pitchers. You've got to stay on the attack and minimize pitches and get these guys out in a hurry. Now the 3-0 offering. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get winners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. The 3-1 is swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Weekly hit towards first. On to first with it is Pujols, and he steps on the bag for the third out. One left for L.A. After two, it's a 2 nothing ball game. Digging in, Jason Castro. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. One and one the count now. Fouled away. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Next up, the two-way Japanese import, Shohei Otani. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Angel still looking for hit number one in the ballgame. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone. One and two. Ah, great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. That was a nasty-looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. To the plate now, Brian Goodwin. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He flied out leading off the ball game. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. Down 0-2 to a guy with this much weaponry, five pitches he can go to, not looking good. Down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Angels are gone in order. They're still down. It's 2-0. of the inning now stepping in Mookie Betts he was a strikeout victim in his first try yeah and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball you could tell he was late on that one and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Lead off single to start the third right now. From an offensive standpoint, keep the aggressive at bats happening. Keep the pressure on the defense. Everything's looking good right now. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball 1-0. One, oh. one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. A bullet to first base. And they'll put the tag on him heading back to first. It's a double play. Next up for Los Angeles, Justin Turner. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. First delivery to him on the way. Count 1 and 0. The 1 0 is taken for ball two. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. From the windup, the 2-0 pitch. Outside, that's the ball. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Two out, nobody on. Into right field, that's a base hit. Kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there. Dan was going to have a 1 2 3 inning, but not the case, giving up that late two out knock. Well, this lineup is so deep, 1 through 9, they keep sort of hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an easy one for this pitcher. And that misses inside 1 0. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. The 1-0. I wonder if that homer rattled him a little bit. He's certainly a little bit more cautious against him this time around. Hitters count. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3-0. and If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. Nope. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. So it's first and second with two men gone. And in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. From the belt, the pitch. Oh, one pitch on its way. And that misses one and one. He'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate with the fastball as he backs him off a bit. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Three and one to the Dodgers left fielder. 
Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Here comes the 3-1 pitch, and he misses again. Ball four, and that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. And that's two free passes in the third inning alone, so you have to wonder if maybe it's something mechanical or if it's just psychological. Got to get back on track here. Into the box now, Corey Seager, one of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Ball one. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. The set and the 1 0. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Fouled off. Comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. A couple of walks, but no damage. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Mike Trout ready to settle in and kick off the inning. Matt Vaskersian joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak with you in the booth. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. High chopper to third. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. The third baseman of the fifth, Anthony Rendon. Now with the plate, Anthony Rendon comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First offering on its way. No runs, no hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. On the ground to third. Turner has it. On to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. The first baseman, number five, Albert Pujo. Here's Albert now, and then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Here comes the first pitch. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you've got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. Hey. Fastball, and that thing's a blur up there, folks. One and one. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Two balls and a strike to the Angels' first baseman. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Three. 
full count now. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to Muncie. Gets him. And with that, they'll end the inning. Angels go down one, two, three. They're down two to nothing. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium. Let's send it down to the field in Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. All right, Heidi, thank you. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Ready to go. Now at the plate, Will Smith. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this A.B. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. Strike two as the fastball is let go. Smith... Swings and throws from the right side and stands at five foot ten. This is his first year at the big league level. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. That's not an at-bat he's going to look now back that. on and be happy about. Nope, Obviously, the strikeout result isn't good, but to go down on three pitches and none of which were even in the strike zone, as you see there, that's not a good look. Into the box now, Gavin Lux. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now here it comes. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Looks at a fastball inside, so he's in the driver's seat. Three and one. Two runs, five hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. There's ball four. The pitcher, number 21, Walker. So here's the Dodgers Bueller. pitcher, Walker Bueller. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. And he's squaring around here, but he can't connect one strike. He doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach right here. That sack bunt is definitely staying on. Ready with the 0-1. Showing bunt, but he winds up taking ball one. Great decision there to pull back. Step number one in getting a sacrifice bunt down, make sure you bunt a pitch that you can handle. Now the one and one pitch. And he pops up the bunt attempt. Otani is there, and he has it for the out. So the runner stays at first here with two away, and that brings us to our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And boy, which of those two numbers leap out at you there? How about the 100? My goodness. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. From the belt, the pitch. Nope. And that misses for ball one. Here it comes, one and all. 
There goes the runner. Pitch is high. The throw he is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. That's a great call from the dugout to put the runner in motion that time. With two outs and a good hitter at the plate, it's a pretty low-risk play. If he's out, you still got the same good hitter leading off the next inning. But if he's safe, he's in scoring position and a lot easier to drive in. Two and one now to Mookie. Nasty 2-0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. The 2-1. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Popped him up. And Rendon will look this one in to retire the side. Dodgers leave one, but they're on top two to nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels offense with their manager between innings. And he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Okay, thank you, Heidi. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. Stepping up to the plate, Justin Upton. He flew out in his last at-bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. Quite an interesting outing up to this point as we head into the middle innings. He's pitching quite well, but you look at his first pitch strike percentage, less than 40%. That's going to be something he's going to need to clean up moving forward. And it's fouled away. And another foul ball. And Upton won't chase that one. It's one and two. And Upton can't connect there as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Standing in now, David Fletcher. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A ball and a strike. One out, nobody on. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Three and one. Waiting next is Andrelton Simmons. A three and one pitch. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Scoreless 
Riding into the box, Andrelton Simmons, 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, we used to have a saying right here you would stride to the plate for this AB trying to chop wood. Not in today's game. You just want to get your back clean. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Angels go quietly there. They trail it here, two to nothing. First pitch on its way. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Some stirring now in that angel bullpen as it'll be both a lefty and a righty that start to get loose. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. To two and two now. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. 2-2 is laid off and the count runs full. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he fouls this one off. Another payoff pitch. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. On pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Stepping in now, Justin Turner. And he takes ball one. A hit and two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The 1 0. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this will be foul. Man, the batter's eyes lit up right there. A hanger just a little bit out in front. Couldn't keep it fair. The 1-1 one, one home. 2-1. One thing to take note of is how these last two batters have really driven up his pitch count. He's had to use 14 pitches already on them, and he's not even through this guy yet. 14 is near the top end of what you want to throw in a complete inning. The 3-1 pitch. 
holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. So a runner at first with one out now, and that'll bring forward Cody Bellinger. From the stretch. And that misses ball one. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Runner at first here, one man out. Two balls and no strikes. The count to the Dodgers center fielder, Bellinger. Just 24 years of age, he was a fourth-round selection back in the draft of 2013. I know a lot of people weren't sure what this guy was going to become, but he has blossomed into one of the superstars. In the There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. So it's a two-run shot to right center, his second home run of the game, as the Dodgers have increased their lead now four to nothing. Certainly a tape measure shot there as we take a look at it with our show track technology. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity, so it comes as no surprise that it carried as far as it did. Here's Jock Peterson now, and the starter remains out there despite just allowing the long ball. We thought maybe they'd go and get him, but no indication of that yet. Yeah, to me, that home run was a sign that he's starting to get a little bit tired out there. It was a good pitch to hit, and it's typically the command that starts slipping when you're fatiguing a little bit. So I can't see him being out there much longer. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. Still only one out in the inning. And it's quickly 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now a fastball here that'll wisely lay off and it's one and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two. That fastball really got away from him there. That's kind of a red flag for me that he's starting to tire or wear down a little bit. The first thing that goes is location and then your mechanics. We'll see if this continues. Fouled away. Bases are empty. One man out. Now here's another one. Again, belted to deep right. That one's out of here. Back-to-back -back home runs. A solo home run there for Jock Peterson. And with it, the Dodgers have opened it up to a 5-0 lead. this lineup's third homer of the game. You know, D-Row, looks like the boys are dialing long distance from the batter's box so far. <laughs> yeah, the pitchers aren't fooling anyone today, Dan. Let's see if this trend continues. On his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden. 
And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Mike Mayers, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Here's Corey Seager. The batter, number five. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. and two. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. Rounded up the first baseline, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Here's the pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. There's a look at the final line for the Angels starter. Not the night he or his club were hoping for. Hey, in this day and age where runs are at a premium, you certainly can't give any free passes. Had a rough go commanding the strike zone, gave up four walks, and that really hurt him in this one. Stepping in, Will Smith. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Mayers certainly comes at you with the big fastball, but the only knock on it is the apparent lack of control he has over that pitch. Might not always know where it's going, and that can make things a little dicey for pitching coaches. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Fastball called strike. One and two. Three runs already home here. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Five innings complete. L.A.'s on top, five to nothing. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. He'll try and get things started as we begin inning number six. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. If they want to get things going, how about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. One and one to Jason Castro. Fouled off. Ready to deliver the one and two. Squared that one up just a little late. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Pulled toward right center field. Bellinger's under it. Makes the play one away. Now batting the pitcher, Mike. Mile. Tommy Lestella will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number nine, Tommy Lestella.
Nope. A ball and no strikes. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. 2 0. One out, nobody on. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Bellinger is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. The right field, number 18, Brian Goodman. Back to the top of the Angels lineup now and stepping in, Brian Goodwin. 0 for 2 with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. First pitch is a cutter looked at 0 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. His command has been outstanding so far hitting nearly all of the spots and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point into the windup here comes the 0 2 pitch and he struck him out so it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit angels are gone in order need to get it going soon it's five nothing Noah Noah Ramirez pitching, enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth Number 24, Noe Ramirez. Bottom of the sixth inning now. Digging in once again, Gavin Lux. It was a walk in his last trip. From the stretch. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. Now batting, the pitcher, Walker Bueller. So here now is the pitcher, Walker Bueller. Third at bat in this one. He's bounced out and popped out in his two previous trips. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Whoa, The 1-0 is looked at for ball number two. Hate to do it, but I've got to question the pitch calling right there. With a guy like this at the plate, you got to attack him with your fastball instead of pitching him like he's a middle-of-the-order power guy. Hey. Two and one now. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Now the pitch. Hanging curveball taken, though, for a second strike. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Now a changeup is bounced to second. Fielded cleanly. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. Up next to the dog. The right field. Lucky. So two gone now for the Dodgers in the sixth. And that'll bring up Mookie Betts. Set and the pitch. And he lays off there 1 0. Ramirez, a right hander standing six foot three. He was a fourth round selection back in 2011. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. The 1 0 home. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Crowd on the run. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Dodgers down in order. 
as they're unable to add to their 5-0 lead. Standing in, Mike Trout. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Counts even to Trout, one and one. The one one home. Misses for the second ball. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Angels center fielder. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weakly hit balls in this one. In now is Anthony Rendon. This will take a look at the pitch. Too low, it's ball one. No hits to this point. In a strike. I mean, this offense has struggled because they haven't been able to make the adjustment. He stayed staunch on the outer half, and these guys have not worked the ball the other way. Lifted in the air out to right. Betts has a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. The first baseman, number five, Albert Kuhl. So now the Angels cleanup batter, Albert Pujols. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. Hey, sometimes you have to look at it like it's not how or how many. Pitching very well into this one into the late innings. And his first pitch strike percentage, less than 50%. He'd like it to be a lot higher than that. He's making it very difficult on himself, but he's still getting outs. High in the air out to center field. Bellinger is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Angels go down one, two, three. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in to try it again. Max Muncy. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. One ball, no strikes to count. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Action now in the Angels' bullpen as a left-hander starts to get loose. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batter. The third baseman, Justin Carter. 
Stepping into the box, Justin Turner. He's one for two in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. In there for strike one. Ooh, I'm shocked he got away with that one, boys. Curveball right down the middle of the plate. And for him to take that pitch looking, he had to be sitting on something else, but he should have pulled the trigger. Here's the 0 1. A shot down the first baseline. Uh, this will get foul for strike two. Ready with the 0-2. One ball. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0-2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. The 1-2. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Into center field, line drive base hit. You never want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy out of a slump, but this guy was too good. You knew it was a matter of time before he started barreling baseballs. That gives him a multi-hit game, and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. Cody Bellinger will stand in again as he looks for home run number three in the ball game. as we flash you back here to his second home run. This was back in the fifth inning as he has the long ball working in his first few at-bats. Set, here it comes. Ball one, no strike. The 1 0. -oh. A swing and a miss, strike one. one, -one. Hey. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Runners on first with one down. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. The 2 2. Hit hard to short. There's one. Throw on to Pujols. They get them both, and they end the inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here, but they hold a 5 nothing lead. Here's Justin Upton now. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looking really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. First delivery to him on the way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Betts has a read on it. One down. The batter of the quarter. Now we'll look at our starter comparison for the two starting pitchers. And these home fans have been treated to a real gem, as evidenced by that big oval shaped number in the hit column on the right side of your screen. So coming to the plate, David Fletcher. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch on its way. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. 
wind up and the 0 1. Bouncer up the middle. On to first, and he's breezing through the eighth here with two quick outs. Well, a huge out, out number two here in the Good eighth. Four outs Good remain, good. but the finish line good. is starting to come into focus now. So now to the plate will be Andrelton Simmons. They're quickly down to their final four outs here tonight. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a blooper to the right side. Bet's coming on. Base hit. And the no-hitter comes to an end here in inning number eight. Uh, so close. But with one swing of the bat, the no-hit bid ends here with two out the eight. Still a remarkable pitching performance nonetheless. Oh, it sure is, Matty B. Boy, you get that part of the game as a pitcher into the eighth inning. It's hard not to look past getting that last out thinking about the ninth. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. Angels strand one. Need to get it going soon. It's 5-0. There's Joe Madden up out of the dugout now on his way to home plate, so it looks as though he's going to call for the double switch here. Ladies Ryan Buchter will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Max Stassi is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Stepping up now, Jock Peterson. One for two in the ball game thus far. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Line to the right side, but this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. The batter, number five, shortstop, Corey Seager. Digging in, Corey Seager. He went down on strikes last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And now we see a right-hander up and throwing in the Angel bullpen. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Bookter has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. Now the 0-2 pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. And that's the second out. Now batter, Hector Will Smith. Digging in, Will Smith. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. With this one almost in the books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Yeah, you ain't kidding, Matty. Dan, what does this feel like when balls are just flying out of the yard? Hero, it's just one of those days when you're out there as a pitcher going, oh, I wish I was somewhere anywhere else but on that bump right now. This has the makings of being a long game. Now the one and one pitch takes a pass and misses that strike two two out nobody on tough curveball that time but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going here he comes again one two chopper to short. Throw over to Pujols at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. 
One, two, three, go the Dodgers as they're unable to add to their 5-0 lead. Now at the plate, Max Stassi. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. First offering on its way. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike and it's all knotted up at one and one. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. It's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. And it's fouled away. Now the three and two pitch. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Back goes Peterson, still going back. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to left as they get on the scoreboard here. It's 5-1. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Being shut out all game, but not anymore. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Dylan Floro will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Austin Barnes will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number 15, Austin Barnes. At the plate now, Brian Goodwin. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. up Seeger is there makes the play one away final line there for the Dodgers starting pitcher and he was really in command on the mound throughout the evening hey what a great job of mixing speeds and mixing up his pitches two hits allowed in this one dominant performance here's the center fielder Mike Trout this will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. A one count. Here's the pitch. And now some action in that Dodger bullpen as a left-hander has begun to get loose. straightened him up there on that fastball it's one and two now don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one he is known for his sinker keeping the ball on the ground and a sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball and that misses so it's a full count three and two and this is where he's especially dangerous because if you walk him he can steal a base on you but if you lay a fastball in there he can take you deep too Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, Trout on his way to second now. And he'll pull into second with one away. No 
mistake what he was sitting on. A fastball, middle of the plate, he kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. So now to the plate, Anthony Rendon. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. Got to believe you're going to get some tough pitches in this count with the base open at first. This is where you have to regroup and find a way to get a good pitch to drive in that run. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. You know, in this situation, you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base. That run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got. The hitter is the guy that can turn this game on its head. The one two. This is hit softly to third. And the throws offline as he tried to sweep it up that time, but came up with nothing but a glove full of dust. Well, as we take another look, you can see that's definitely a throwing air here. The ball bounces right off the infield grass. A nice effort to try and make the save, but it was a tough hop, and he can't bail his teammate out. Kenley Jansen answers the call from the dugout as he'll try to record the final two outs of this one. Kenley Jansen. Ready once again, Albert Pujols. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden this thing feels doable. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch right there for strike one with some traffic on the base pass nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one now a swing and a miss by pool holes and he's in a quick 0 and two hole so back to back sliders for strikes does he come back with yet another Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. Jansen, a 32-year-old veteran. This is his 10th season at the Major League level, so almost a decade, which is quite an accomplishment. two once more in the dirt and block behind the plate good work there to prevent any advance it's one and two runners are at first and third one away this is line to left catch is made in medium deep left center here comes the runner for the plate oh but it's off line so the run will score Boy, this one looked like it was headed for extra bases off the bat. Instead, a line drive bullet caught in the alley, but he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. Coming to the plate now, Justin Upton. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. First pitch on its way to Upton. Oh, and one, here it comes.
crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. And he struck him out, and that'll do it for the Angels here this evening. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about, and they definitely did that right here, coming through with a big win at home. 5-2 the final score tonight. Los Angeles jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Walker Bueller earns the victory on the mound. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time.